if you are watching this tonight, there's a good chance you are not in Queens. Tens of thousands are without cable, internet, or phone, and police say it looks like somebody did it on purpose. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live tonight in Forest Hills. Ali. Some of the 60,000 Spectrum customers who have been without service tonight have been through this before. Back in April, Vandals cut off service for 30,000 customers. But why would anyone cut cable wires? Police sources say it appears to be sabotage by people on the inside. Tonight, Jason Diaz is having dinner at his local bar in Forest Hills since their TVs work and his Spectrum cable is out. They were out everywhere and they're still out. And his day without cable, internet, or phone service isn't just boring, it's costing him business. I do a lot of stuff at home for work and I email back and forth with clients and now I can't do that. So, well, drinking is the next best option. He isn't the only one. Cash only signs are posted along bars and restaurants in the area. The outage also took out their credit card machines. A few people have actually left because they only want to use cars, so we did uh, have to turn down a few customers. Queensboro President Melinda Katz tweeted today, per spectrum at approximately 2 a.m. today, vandals cut fibers at four major hubs, cutting service for 60,000 customers in Queens. Contractors spent more than 16 hours trying to fix torn fibers. They told us whoever did this knew exactly what to do. The wires are under heavy metal doors and are so thick only special tools can cut them. Police sources link it back to Spectrum technicians who have been on strike for months. We would never condone that. We would never do that. But some customers aren't buying it and say they don't want to be in the middle of a labor dispute. I think that's a little unfair to the whole community. Like, say if your company is not doing well for you, you're trying to punish someone else who didn't do anything to you. Well, Spectrum Cable has tweeted out they are working to resolve the issue and hope to have service fully restored by the end of the night. We're live in Forest Hills. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.